Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. The Catawba Valley Pottery and Antiques Festival is one of the biggest events in the Hickory area. Now, Rick Sullivan prepared this story a few years ago, and though we have a crew taping a new story coming your way soon, we thought this event was so much fun that we went back to our vaults for this classic story. Come Friday and come early. That's the first rule of veteran Catawba Valley Festival goers. Last year, Peter Thrall did it right. At 9 o'clock in the morning, I guess I just wanted to be first in line, so I took the day off and came up. Photographer Keith and I took a little break, got a little dinner, came back. Mr. Thrall's still at the door, but now, 10 minutes till 7, he's joined by about 400 others. There's a multi-course dinner sitting for everyone who buys a Friday night ticket, but the food can stay on the burner for most of these folks because they have pottery on the market. Follow me right to the booth and make sure nobody gets my junk. No, I was told make your name I have. I don't think you did any fixing this time. All right. All right. As long as you got the keys and you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I didn't okay. know we should. Mr. Thrall got what he came for. That's the one. What is it about this one that does it for you? Well, it's. The two artists that did it, Charles Lisk and Steve Aby, we loved both of their pieces. And I don't have a piece of red, the red glaze by these artists, so. Good Lord, and you got them both yeah, together. Yeah, it was a little pricey, but that's okay. What was it, $525? Yep, $525. Worth every bit of it? Worth every bit of it. We're very happy. Part of the tradition at the festival is to make a straight line to the Charlie Lisk table. Lisk learned his craft from the late Berlin Craig, one of the most important Catawba Valley potters of the 20th century. Craig died in 2002, and now his friend Charlie Lisk has inherited the craze over glaze. Is this the first Lisk you've gotten? No, no. We have uh, uh, 20th. <laughs> Are you serious? You got a bunch, huh? Yes. Is, do you really have 20? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, well, what is Why it do about? You want to buy one? Huh? <laughs> they're no, they're beautiful, but. They're ugly. different. Okay, all right. Well, thank you. You said that. Say it one more. <laughs> They're ugly. <laughs> okay, you admit it. <laughs> Say what you want about these faces and swirls. The Catawba Valley face jugs and the folks who make them are more successful now than ever. Well, some people call these ugly faces grotesque face jugs. I just call it, I just call it a face jug. It has no connotation to me other than a face. The potters here have been quite an inspiration uh, to me. I'm in Amish country up in Ohio, and it's fascinating uh, to them to watch me make pottery, but it's fascinating to me to come down and watch the uh, southern potters work. Trust me, it's very flattering to me that anybody even wants it. And, uh, you know, I'm very much honored that people buy it. The Catawba Valley Pottery and Antiques Festival is a chance to learn about the history of an art form in North Carolina. It's a chance to meet the future face-to-face -face with those making new history. And it's a chance to bring home pieces of that history if you are so inclined, and if you have enough room to carry it back. In Hickory, I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. The 14th annual Catawba Valley Pottery and Antiques Festival begins Friday night, March 25th, with a kickoff event and runs all day on Saturday, March 26th. For tickets and more information, call 828-324-7294 or go online to catawbahistory.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.